So now we get to see what an anonymous function looks like in PHP if you've not come across them before, as well as some other bits and bobs that we can do as well. And we'll also go back to that array map example we saw in the last part, and we'll switch that over to use an anonymous uh, or an arrow function. Okay, so let's start by just creating out that normal function that we had before, which goes ahead and returns a value. So let's go ahead and invoke this just with the var dump, and we'll go ahead and call that greet variable. Let's head over and give that a refresh, and sure enough, we get that returned. Now, to switch this over to an arrow function basically just means to change the keyword that we use over to fn, and then rather than have a block here, and rather than have a return statement, we take the expression that we want to use and we put this after a fat arrow or an arrow, if you want to call it just an arrow. So this ends with a semicolon as we would expect most things to do in PHP and that is pretty much it. So we've taken a simple thing, a return statement. We don't need to use the return keyword here. In fact, that causes a syntax error. This is implied that this is the return value of this particular function. So if we come over and give that a refresh, sure enough, we see exactly the same thing, which is great if you are creating a really simple function which returns a value like this, then you've saved yourself a couple of lines. And it's still pretty easy to see what this is. Fn still represents a function really nicely. Okay, let's take a look at a different example where we invoke this function, but we actually pass a value into this. Now this works in exactly the same way. So I can accept in a message into this that I want to go ahead and return. So I can just simply take the arguments, any number of arguments in here, and go ahead and use them within this function. So I can go ahead and put hey inside of the parameters that this function accepts and go ahead and return that greeting. And you can see, once again, we get exactly the same thing. Now, if for example, we had a function that added two numbers together, say on the left and the right, we can still use an expression in here as we would normally would. Now we're gonna talk about kind of multi lines within anonymous functions a little bit later and multiple expressions, which we can't actually do, uh, but we'll leave that for now and we'll discuss that a little bit later. So here I've got a really basic arithmetic operation where we're just adding left and right together. Let's go ahead and invoke that new add anonymous function, which is now a arrow function, and let's pass in five and 10. And as you would expect, we get 15 back, which is great. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We're gonna dive into some of the nuances of this a little bit later, but let's take a look at that example we saw earlier where we had a list of users. So we had two users in here, they've both got IDs. So let's go ahead and add in some other property in here as well, because we want to just extract the IDs out from this list. So let's add an ID of two, and let's add a name of just Billy in here as well. Okay, so previously what we did with array map is we wanted to extract the IDs out. So we created an anonymous function in here. For each of the users that we passed through to this, we went ahead and got that user in this anonymous function or closure. We then went ahead and returned the user ID specifically from this, and that went ahead and extracted out them IDs. So if we go over, sure enough, we've got an array of two items, one and two, both from them users. So to move this over to use an arrow function is a lot cleaner because as we've seen, what we can do is first of all, just use the FN shorthand we can omit the return statement so we can get rid of that. We can get rid of this entire block here and replace that out with an arrow. And then we can just go ahead and tell this what we want to return. So really simply in a single line and a much shorter line than if we were to have pulled this up normally with that block and that return statement, we've done exactly the same thing. And that's where arrow functions really shine. When you have functions like this in PHP, which except in a closure, when you're maybe filtering through array items or mapping through as we've just seen. And there are a ton of functions in PHP that have closures that allow uh, manipulation of objects or return values. So you can go ahead and now use arrow functions in them instead.